Well, hello there. This is Paul Paul G, your compost gardening CEO. It's back with a treating the compost garden plants with the with Neymar video <laughs> intro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I saw that sobo raining around the hills and mountains. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollering around the merry street. With the ring tang tang and the ting 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 and the through the way a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run play ball. And through the way we would run. How you guys doing today? This is Paul Paul G. Treating the plants. As you can see, with some neem oil. That Granny D made up. Need more solution, and uh, I'm spraying around mostly around the bottom of the plants on the ground with a lot of it. I'm putting some on the leaves, but uh, I just wanted to come out and treat them and treat them well because, as you guys know. My regular subscribers, my, my subscribers know Papa G loves to eat. <laughs> yes, indeed. Papa G loves to eat. Well, these down here on this end seem to have more bug bites than anywhere else in the garden in this compost garden as you can see I treated it the other day I treated the plants the other day with some uh, composting com some compost uh, material that's already composted mixed with some miracle Grow and Some uh, miracle grow soil and some uh, cotton seed meal, which is which is which is a uh, from what I understand is a organic is an organic fertilizer, cotton seed meal. But uh, I wanted to come out here. These plants are, are shaping up so very well. Until I want to keep them that way. But I, like I said, I see a few bug bites on these on the end here. Right here. And so, I want to get rid of the bugs and keep the greens. In this beautiful compost garden. In which I can just weed while I'm talking to you guys. Oh, that's a piece of grass there. Yeah, I'm gonna let, no, I'm, I'm gonna pull it on up. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to keep things real simple. I'm 67 years old and uh, I used to teal, but now I found the gold. <laughs> I've struck gold, y'all, with compost gardening. I've struck gold. And uh, I want to keep these plants looking beautiful. But anyway, ah.
get this over here. But anyway, I, I, I just wanted to come out here and treat these plants real good, treat them real well. Try to keep the bugs off of them. I don't want to share, share this, these vegetable, vegetables with, with the bugs. Let them go eat something else. Let them go find something else to eat. This belongs to Papa G here and Granny D. And whoever else might get to eat some of them. But they are shaping up very well, as you can tell. Maybe you can compost garden. Do compost gardening. They are very easy to weed. It's very easy, easy to weed. This uh, in com with com when you compost gardening. Very easy to weed. And uh, what this is is dry. It's a uh, mulch. It's mulch, dried leaves, uh, and grass clippings. Cause I kick them up in there when I'm mulch when I'm uh, mulching up the leaves and kicking them up in the in the garden. And uh. So it's leaves clippings, dried leaves, mulch, mulched up wood. And uh anyway. I just wanted to come out here and, and treat these plants today. And treat them very well. With the neem oil. Neem oil, neem oil. <laughs> Did I get this one? I think I grabbed it. Yeah, I got it. Looks like I got it. But I'm, cause I'm putting it mostly on the ground, mostly to try to hinder the bugs from even coming up on the plants themselves. That was kind of brown, getting kind of brown looking. So I'm gonna. Break it off. So I broke it off, and uh, so that uh, it won't hinder the growth of the of the beautiful leaves. You have to do some pruning sometime, y'all. I know that much. I wasn't born on a farm, like my my neighbor brother Lester. I wasn't born on a farm, but I've learned a few things through the years. With uh, peeling, when I was peeling, and uh, one thing I learned is that when you when you peel, all you're doing is you're turning over weeds too. The weeds along with their roots, and then when uh when the plants when you when you plant your plant your plants, and they go to growing, well then the weeds come back too. Don't you know it? <laughs> but uh, anyway, I found compost gardening to be the way for me. Compost gardening. You know, with me being the CEO, I had to make a de an executive decision to come out here and Treat the, treat the plants with neem oil. <laughs> uh, I'm the only employee. <laughs> I'm the CEO of a company of one. <laughs> uh, and so, that way I have all the fun being a company of one. <laughs> Uh, 
Y'all had to make that de executive decision, though, being the CEO of Come Coast Gardening, showing y'all the video. Well, when, when leadership is out working, but well, then that meant the other people know that, hey, if the leader can do some work, well, then we should, too. Of course, I'm talking to myself because I'm a company of one. <laughs> but I'm the CEO, the CEO of this company <laughs> of one. <laughs> Uh, I'm having all the fun. I get to have all the fun. <laughs> I get to have all of the fun. used to have more fun than this when I was two. <laughs> uh, when I was chilling, it was more fun than this. In a negative sense. I'd rather go to the gym and get my exercise. Get my exercise, my workout on at the gym. I don't necessarily want to be wrestling with no chiller. <laughs> Yo, I come out here and spray, do some spraying in this compost garden. And this compost garden is not is, is not in direct sunlight either. It's not even in direct sunlight because. Right over here, can you see my hand pointing? <laughs> right over here, there's a popcorn tree. One of those fast growing popcorn trees. It used to be a lot smaller than that. But uh, it's grown on up. And now it's causing, a, it's, it's causing a, the sun to be blocked out of the compost garden. That's not good. I mean, they are, they are doing very well. The plants are doing very well, and I'm very pleased. But they could be doing a lot better. Because my neighbor has, has good direct sunlight. He was born on a farm. So he knew he didn't need a lot of trees around his, his plants around his garden. He still tills though, he still tills. So, but anyway, Papa G found a better way called compost gardening. These are nice kale plants down here, y'all. Kale. And I have broccoli, cauliflower, uh, cabbage plants. Those are cabbage plants down there on the very end, down there by the by the camera, by the camera stand. Oh yeah, I got a camera stand, y'all. That's why I ain't got to have the camera in my hand. My my new my subscribers that's been with me, I ain't calling y'all old old subscribers, but my subscribers that's been with me, and I appreciate y'all for being with me. Uh. break that off because it, it's not looking good and so I just break it off it, it, it's not doing any good it's hindering but uh my subscribers that's been with me know that I went without cam without a camera stand and had to hold a camera in my hand for a long time when I got started with YouTube started creating videos 
I'm a content creator, yo. I'm a creator, a content creator. <laughs> ah. I'm creating some food. That's the plant. Yeah, I just pull up weeds. I just break weeds off and, and throw them in the compost garden. Just like this. And let them become compost. Instead of hindering my wheat, my uh, plants, they can become <laughs> for my plants become food for my plants. That's right. Shouldn't have all the cane. You're going to be food, now for my plants. Nutrition for my plants. Yes, indeed. Papa Jesus do. <laughs> These are tomato plants over here. You see, do I have the camera aimed that way? But no. Yeah, y'all can see me over there. Spread those tomato plants, and this is a this is a pepper plant over here still still producing right over here. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray it too. I heard about pepper plants. A lady was growing them in Africa. You know, I guess they was, I believe they're the same type of plant, uh, peppers, that she was growing over there. You know, from the sounds of it, they grew a long time. They produced a long time. And so, I, I, I'm spraying them too. Spraying it too. With hope. And it may grow some more. Peppers. Randy D loves peppers. He come out here and eat them. He, he eat them right off the, uh... See, I'm, I'm weeding, see, I'm, I'm weeding while I'm, while I'm, uh, while I'm, uh, treating. I'm re weeding and treating at the same time. Because there's not that many weeds. Not that many at all, y'all. Not that many weeds. <laughs> ah, it's not that many weeds anymore. <laughs> Since I'm not tilling, turning those weeds over, and then with the roots, and then they just keep growing. They just keep growing. You turn them over. Killing them, you're turning them over. And then they just get the soil around them and the fertilizer too. A cotton seed meal or whatever fertilizer you use they are using when they till. <clears throat> and uh and they just could commence to grow it again. <laughs> they give them a second life. They have a second life. Another life. To grow. You don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want. I don't want to give weeds a second life. I'd rather pull them up by the root. From the root to the tooth. And uh, throw it, toss them in the garden, and let them produce food for my plants. Plant food. <laughs> ah. I think I've seen stuff like that. 
in the so-called plant food. Well, my weeds become plant food for my plants. <laughs> nah, I'm having fun, yo. Cause weed ain't so hard no more. Don't you know? It's not that hard anymore. Man, I used to look out that window over there and uh, see all these weeds out here. And it would be hot, sunny and hot. And uh, that'd be, that would be before the fall, y'all. It'd be in the summer, during regular planting season. Well, everybody be out there in the sun. But anyway, I don't have to be out there as long anymore. I just pull them up as as uh as I'm doing something else. I see the weed, and I just I just yank it up, and they come up a lot easier than if they was in implanted in in a teal bed of soil. That 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 uh like the way I used to I used to uh, plant. I used to teal up the soil, and then. The plants would root, re root. <laughs> they would re root and grow some more. Papa G didn't like that. So I turned the tiller over to my son. He he has a he has a beautiful garden. Granny D told me she's seen it. He has a beautiful garden. And uh so I turned the till over to him, but he's doing some comp composting too. He, he's at, look, at least looking this way. <laughs> ah, if I ever get this tree cut up here, get this tree cut down over here, <laughs> and uh, thank y'all. I'll pick y'all up. Uh, pick y'all up and uh so y'all so I can be talking and, and showing y'all what I'm talking about but uh that's the tree over here right on the side of the guard here popcorn tree man these jokers they I guess they that that little that little green seed or whatever pops open and then the tree just go to growing before you know it it's all the way up there like that casting a shadow over my plants because the sun is over the sun is going down over that way you know uh, look at that limb see that limb those see those things out there hanging out there little popcorn on the, on those little branches out there let me zoom in. <laughs> Papa G know how to zoom now. Nah. Let me zoom in so y'all can see what I'm talking about. See those little round kernels or whatever? Those things turn into trees. Big trees. Like these. <laughs> ah. But yeah, Papa G know how to, how to zoom now, y'all. My regular, my, my subscribers know from before that Paul Paul G didn't have the ability to zoom, didn't know how to. But I learned now, the same son that gave me this camera stand that I'm holding in my hand, gave me a pickup truck as well. Hey, I like to think, and, and I believe I know that uh he gave he gave me the camera stand first firstest of the firstesses and uh and then it wasn't it wasn't long after that he gave me the camera stand and a camera mount see i was i was buying stuff i was getting stuff receiving stuff things before i even had anything to put it in a camera mount for the truck did I have it mounted in the truck now? 
But anyway, he he gave me the camera stand that I'm holding in my hands and uh in the camera mount that's in the pickup truck that he gave me. And it wasn't long after that that he had a brand new car. A brand new Honda Accord. State of the art hybrid. Part electric and part gas. He told me, he said, he said, Daddy, he said, when I'm pulling up to stop, the, the uh, motor, the motor stops working with the gas part. And it just, the electric, the electric part just kicks in when I'm putting on brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I say, well, go ahead on, son. <laughs> go ahead on. <laughs> ah, this one looking kind of, kind of brown there too. I'm gonna break it off. Let it become food. Throw it, toss it on the ground, and let it become food for my plants. Become more food for my plants. I think that's pretty, pretty wise. How about that as a surprise? Pretty wise. Let that, those weeds become food for your plants. You guys can do this too. I'm not an expert, but you can learn what Papa G has learned by trial and error. I'm the experimenter. <laughs> the experimenter. <laughs> ah, Dr. Frankenstein don't have anything on Papa G's mind. Ah, <laughs> yay! Ah, I'm happy, y'all. Look at that. I'm happy. I'm happy. My compost, my, 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 my experiment of compost gardening is working. It's working. You can do it too. See all this is down here. This is a, a, some grass I pulled up a minute ago. But all this is down here is wood chips, mulch, wood chips, dried leaves. See those dried leaves there? I mulched them up. Last year, the last last grass growing, last time I cut the grass. Well, no, I had mulched it up and then I, I uh, brought them back here and dumped them in the compost garden. That's what I did. I mulched them up in the front yard, in the front of the house, and uh, brought them back to the back of the house and put them in the garden. But, uh, I'm weeding now. I'm weeding now, y'all. These little bit of weeds, I'm, I'm getting them before they get big. Let them become some young food for my plants. Get over there and, and nourish Paul Paul G's food. Do what you're supposed to. Do what I tell you. Uh, uh, uh. Do what I tell you. <laughs> Uh, I told those ants the other day that get on my ankle, I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll treat you. I ain't going to treat you like I treat my plants. It's going to be a big surprise. Something you can take the queen. Uh, anyway, y'all. I'm glad y'all have watched my video, have watched this video this long. But as I said before, you guys can do this too. And it's not hard. Dried leaves. I put the dried, le dried leaves under the mulch. And I, I guess the rain, when it, when it comes, sometimes it brings it up through them, back up through the mulch or whatever. But anyway, it's still down there and becoming, it's, it's composting and becoming food for my plants. You know, I, I say if you're going to do some compost gardening, get started. Get started before and, and just let your let your let the, the plot of ground 
where you put the mulch it when you, where you put the, the the composting material it just put it out even if you don't plant for a year or two for however long you decide but uh dig down through that mulch well uncover the mulch and uh get get be able to, to uh get you a little small uh plant little, little small try uh what you call those little trial or whatever and uh and, and go to planting look at this and there's not many weeds y'all not many weeds let me zoom in again <laughs> i can zoom now y'all let me zoom again see that look at that i'm standing straight up not straight up i'm a little, I'm a little build i'm a little tilted <laughs> I got some long legs, y'all. But uh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Keep growing. <laughs> Do your service to Papa G. Get in my belly. When it's time, get in my belly. <laughs> Be all mine. <laughs> I love you, plants. I love you. You're going to serve a purpose. Some food for Poto G. Some food. Hey, that's, a, that's a great service. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed, y'all. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Anyway, that's about it for today. Yes, indeed. Beautifully. Ah. I could have could have gotten some more plants and planted them back this way over here uh i'm still trying to decide on what i might be able, what else i might be able to plant uh, my wife mentioned some rutabagas i'm not a real rutabaga fan but i eat them when she cook them i eat some but uh so i I'm, i may end up doing doing that i may end up putting some rutabagas or something over here in this part over here but uh, as you can see, some people would say, what's wrong with Paw Paw G? He ain't taking care of his garden. Yes, I am too. I'm taking care of this garden. Ain't much to do. The leaves that fall, well then they just become food too. That's it. Anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching this long. And uh, Tune back in and subscribe. All of you guys who haven't subscribed yet, y'all be watching my videos. I can see in the analytics that you be watching my videos. There's more y'all watching than I got subscribers. <laughs> anyway, there's more y'all watching than, than uh, my, my subscribers that watch. My, my subscribers that's been with me been watching. They've been coming back watching. And uh, I appreciate that, subscribers. And so anyway, that's it for today. I thank y'all for joining Popo G. Thank you. Outro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I saw a bull raining around the hills and mountains. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollowing around the merry streets. With the rang ting ting and a ting 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 and a through the way a bow wow wow and a woo 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 and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run play ball. And through the way we would uh, get one more shot of that popcorn tree. That needs to stop bothering me. <laughs> and through the way we would. <laughs> Leave me alone.
Oui, 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 oui.